How to solve three variable systems using the matrix method. This is very similar to my previous uh, equation solver method using matrix method, only now there's three variables. Given these three equations, 4x plus 2y minus 2z Oops. equals 10, 2x plus 8y plus 4z equals 32, and then finally 30x plus 12y minus 4z equals 24. Whoops equals 24. There we go. Okay. Here are our three equations. Three matrices need to be made. First matrix is the coefficient matrix, A. It's made up of these nine coefficients. All of the equations have to be written with the variables in the same order. If, say, it was 4x minus 2z plus 2y, you need to flip them around. I'll have all of the equations written in the same form, the x, y, z terms in that order, x, y, z, x, y, z, x, y, z. Okay, so call up a matrix, three rows, three columns. Here we go. 4, 2, negative 2, 2, 8, 4, 30, 12, and negative 4. Don't forget the negatives. These negatives here go along with the coefficient. Okay. The next matrix is B. It is made up of the three constants that are on the right sides of the equal sign. It is a one column, three row matrix. First number is 10, 32, and 24. The final matrix is the coefficient matrix. It is equal to, it's not equal to, it takes the form of x, y, and z. Coefficient matrix, constant matrix, and variable matrix. These three, the final form is like this, a times x equals b. If you were to multiply the a matrix times the variable matrix, and then set it equal to the constant matrix, you'd have three equations. It gets back to over here. So in order to solve for the variable matrix, you need to first find what the inverse of a is. You need to get this equation into this form. You need to solve for x the proper way using the matrix using matrix matrix math, excuse me, is to find the inverse of a multiplied by the constant matrix. If you do when you do all of the matrix operations with the inverse of a multiplied by b, you'll get three values in a one column three row matrix. I'm not going to go into how to find the inverse of A, but I will display it here. Doesn't look very pretty, but there it is. Put that off to the side. Okay, so since X since here's the a, a inverse, a to the negative 1 times b equals this. Copy it, multiply it by the b matrix. I could write out all of these things again, but I'm lazy and I don't feel like it. All of this equals this. A to the negative 1 
times b. Move it down equals. When you do all of this matrix math, the it's this number times that number plus that number times that number plus that number times that number equals this number. So it's the negative 0 0.217 times 10 plus negative 0 0.043 times 32 plus 0 0.065 times 24. This all equals negative 2. So that's the first one. Then you go down to the second one. The elements in the second row times this column, that equals 6. The elements in the bottom row times this column equals the third and final number. So since this equals x, the x, the x matrix, not the x variable, the x variable then equals negative 2, the y variable equals positive 6, the z variable equals negative 3. This is the final answer. right here. Same process with the two variable mat uh, matrix method, except now there's just an extra column. It's just more math. The arithmetic is the hardest part. Meaning this manipulation here. If you have a uh, TI-83 or a TI-89 graphing calculator, you can input these in as variables. The program I'm using is called MathCAD. It's very handy. Highly recommend picking it up. But if you're in high school, you probably won't be allowed to use it. College level, probably. So that's a three-variable system matrix method.